final leg back again to talk about the world indoor tour meeting that went down in Levin, France. Of course, world indoor champs is not happening, but that world indoor tour is continuing. A lot of pro athletes are really taking it seriously. So jumping into things first on the sprints, we had Ronnie Baker again coming back from injury in 2019. He has been having a very consistent 2020 indoor season. He took the win in that 60 meter dash 6.44 seconds, really strong performance, not too far off his personal best of 6.40 seconds, which he ran back in 2018 to grab a medal at those World Indoor Championships. So Ronnie Baker really showing the consistency, definitely going to translate to that outdoor 100 meters where he's going to be one of the favorites to not only make the Olympic team to Tokyo, but potentially get on that podium as well. So keep a lookout for Baker. Still in the 60, but on the women's side, we had Gina Bass from Gambia, who has been making noise over the past couple seasons. She got out to a personal best of 7.11 seconds in that 60 meter dash, personal best and makes her number four in the world for 2020. A lot of people have been talking about her and she is really on the rise. Definitely one to look out for. What makes it significant is she managed to finish just ahead of Muriel Ahure who ran 7.12 seconds and is the world indoor champion in the 60 meters from 2018. So again, Gina Bass from the Gambia, she's really making noise and definitely gonna be making an impact in this 2020 season. Now moving over to the field in that men's pole vault, Mandu Duplantis, he featured here with Sam Kendricks as well. Mandu coming off the two times that he broke the world record last week setting it in 6.18 meters here though in France he managed to get up to 6.07 meters and he took an attempt at 6.19 to try and get the world record but unfortunately wasn't successful this time but again Mandu really dominating the indoor season multiple world records definitely going to translate outdoors and he is probably the clear favorite going into Tokyo this year now back on the track but moving up to that men's 3,000 meters we had a great duel between Getnet Wale from Ethiopia and and Selma Borega from Ethiopia. Wale managed to get the win in the 3,000 meters, 7 minutes, 32.80 seconds. Not only a personal best, but also moved him to number 16 all time in the indoor 3,000 meters. Really strong performance. Borega was not too far behind. He got out to a best of 7 minutes, 33.19 seconds, which moves him to number 20 all time. So both Ethiopians definitely very, very strong. We know Wale is going to go outdoors and run that 3,000 meter steeplechase. Borega is going to be in that 5K. So really strong performances keep a lookout for them still in the distances this time in the women's 1500 meters we have Gudaf Tsege also from Ethiopia she managed to grab the win there in four minutes and 60 seconds very strong performance not a personal best or even a season's best she had actually already run four minutes and nine seconds earlier in the season which was one of the best performances in history so really showing some great consistency this year she was followed very closely behind by Halu Lemlem also from Ethiopia she managed to run four minutes 1.57 seconds so great performances that actually makes her number 18 all time but again behind Sege who had run four minutes and nine seconds so really strong performances great to see them this indoor season on the men's 1500 meter side of things Samuel Tafera also from Ethiopia really consistent Ethiopians here we saw him run three minutes 35.54 seconds which is a world leading performance for 2020 great performance there also had Jesus Gomez competing for Spain he got up for second place in the race three minutes 36.68 seconds which puts him at number four for the 2020 season so really great performances in that men's 1500 meters now down a little bit we're going to that women's 800 meters Gemma Riki from Great Britain who has been making serious noise all indoor season in that 800 meters she grabbed the win in two minutes and 34 seconds of course not a personal best or season's best we already saw her run that 157 earlier in the season but this is showing the consistency she has been dominating the past couple meets the only meet that she actually lost was the Milrose games which she still set a personal best and national record in that Miles. So Riki really showing her consistency, definitely going to translate outdoors. She was followed behind by Nakai from Uganda, who is the 2019 world champion in Doha in that 800 meters. Nakai managed to run two minutes, 1.96 seconds. So great performance, really showing the consistency again from Riki. And we're going to see these ladies going for some Olympic medals in Tokyo this year. Finishing off on the track in that women's 60 meter hurdles, Nia Ali and Christina Clemens, both from the United States, got right to the line and managed to come away with the exact same time 7.92 seconds but Nia Ali she was given the win over Christina Clemens again 7.92 seconds for Nia Ali that's actually a season's best for her makes her number eight in the world this year Clemens has already run 7.89 seconds but the consistency she's been showing this year is really one of the best in the world so definitely keep a lookout for these ladies as we finish off the indoor season and start to transition outdoors into those 100 meter hurdles now let's finish things off with some field events Hughes for Zango from Burkina Faso in that men's triple jump 
already the world leader from this year. He managed to really back up his performance, jumping 17.51 meters here. Really strong performance, only second to his world lead of 17.77 meters. So great performance. Definitely going to be looking to improve upon the bronze medal he got in Doha last year, going for something bigger in Tokyo. So keep a lookout for Zango. Now in the women's long jump, though, we had Marina beck Romanchuk. She's been very consistent this indoor season. Here in France was no different. Got out to a best of 6.90 meters to take the competition. She was followed very closely behind by Esse Brume from Nigeria, who has been having an amazing indoor season. Personal best in the long jump of 6.82 meters. Again, personal best. This is the third time in a row that she set a personal best in the indoor season. So definitely going to be seeing what both these ladies do outdoors and probably along with Mihambo from Germany. These are going to be the top three going into Tokyo as well. So keep a lookout for that women's long jump. All right, so those are just some of the results of the World Indoor Tour meeting that went down in Levin, France. Go in the description below. I left the link for the full results from the competition. We'll be back again very soon. There's another competition, another World Indoor Tour going down in Madrid in a couple days. Definitely going to bring you guys some highlights from that. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite competition, your favorite event from this meet was. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.